I'm often asked by investors, what are the critical criteria that one should be looking for when trying to invest in any particular suburb? Now there are tons of macro and micro fundamentals that go into that sort of criteria, but there are six very simple stats which investors can find very easily either on the internet or through different apps which are now available. So the first one one wants to be able to focus on is what is the owner occupancy rate in that particular suburb? So we know that in Australia, 70% of us are owner occupiers, 30% of us are renters. You really want to be able to be investing in a suburb that has that statistic. Um, it's very important that you're not investing in an area which is heavily weighted towards investment stock. And the Australian Bureau of Statistics will let, will let any investor be able to access that through their website. The other important factor is how many days on the market has this particular property been, been available? Obviously, the longer that property is on the market, the less desirable it is, is, is appealing to investors. So one wants to be cautious of something that has been on the market for far too long. Thirdly, one can look at what the auction clearance rates are, and they are published every single week. We see, particularly now through the pandemic, what are those clearance rates, what are those clearance rates looking like, excuse me. Uh, fourthly, we want to look at what the gross rental yields are. Now this is very, very important because it's quite easy now while interest rates are so low that getting a reasonable yield or a slightly lower yield is not that critical. It becomes a lot more critical when interest rates start to rise or when your wages start to suffer as we see now in the pandemic. So you'll be wanting to look at decent uh, uh, rental yield will be around about the 5% mark. Whereas we're seeing in Sydney and Melbourne right now around about the 3%. Now that's a massive difference in terms of what one's repayments are going to be. So looking for something with a, uh, a decent gross rental yield is very, very important in terms of its serviceability and the impact that may have on your life. Vacancy rates are also very important and very easy for the public to find out what vacancy rates are by going to SQM and you'll find out what are the vacancy rates in that particular area. A balanced market is around about 3%. So if you're seeing something that is a little higher than 3%, you know that there's going to be a slightly severe supply situation there and it's going to lean heavily on the supply rather than the demand. So you're wanting to look at vacancy rates that, are, that sit below that 3%. And then really to be able to compare like for like products. Um, you know, you'll often have people say, well, that house was 650, this was 550. Well, there's a hundred grand difference. It's very easy for you to be able to see precisely what those differences are. So those six buzzwords are really criteria that any investor can find out and search for and, and get some way of de-risking uh, uh, an investment that you may be looking for. So I would say if you're not going to be using an investment house like Meridian, uh, make sure you, you look at those six very simple uh, fundamentals which can assist you in de-risking that investment.